What's up guys? Um, I'm Kyle Lex and I've decided to do something a little bit different on my channel uh, today. Due to the UK lockdown, I've been doing a lot more exercises and trying to eat right. So I wanted to create this type of video diary, I guess. It may or may not be an everyday upload, um, depending on what I've got to say or if I've got anything to talk about really. But I wanted to talk about why I started my um, journey and where I started from. So I was always fairly fit and sporty growing up, even as a young adult. Um, but in 2007, I moved just over 300, just under, sorry, 300 miles away from all my family and friends, and I set up home in Liverpool. Due to this, I'd found myself going from playing football three times a week, training three times a week, to basically doing no sport whatsoever at all. I spent my first month in Liverpool looking for work, and I ended up getting a job in McDonald's, which probably isn't a great place to start if you're trying to be fit and healthy. So I worked there for about two years and I met some amazing people there, people I'm still friends with now. So, um, you know, it wasn't all bad. They weren't very sporty. They they were all, most of them were at uni or college. And um, I kind of fell into that way of life as well. Even though I wasn't um, a student yet, I did later on go on to become a student. Uh, and it just sort of, I sort of fell into that way of life. And before I knew it, um, I was, you know, I was at college and then I went to uni and I was living the student life, like, you know, drinking, um, just just not eating properly and stuff like that. I, I didn't even give my health, health or fitness a, a second thought, to be honest. Even when I was looking into the mirror, I didn't see... I didn't see an issue. I didn't see any any problem with with what what had happened or what you know how how laxed I'd become. Yeah. So while I was at uni, um, I met my wife, my now wife, um, who was living living the student life as well. Um, she was at uni as well. So um, it kind of becomes second nature. We, we moved into a little flat. We'd have house parties or flat parties. Um, pretty much every weekend, inviting all our friends round and staying up till stupid o'clock in the morning. So it was about 2008 um, when I noticed a picture of myself um, on our honeymoon um, where, where, you know, I'd just been married and I, th I thought I looked pretty good in, in my suit, in my wedding pictures and all that. But in, in on the honeymoon, we were around the swimming pool and I will show you the picture. I've just got to find it. So um, it will come up somewhere on the screen now. Um, but yeah, I, I, had, I had no top on and I just, I, I just saw my belly. I saw a big round belly. Um, and it and it it was the first time I'd seen myself like this before. So I looked so out of shape, um, and it made me realise I'd really, really let myself down. And, and I'm sorry to say that if teenager me had seen my, my myself then, uh, he probably would have kicked my ass. For the past eight years before that, uh, for the past eight years, sorry, I'd been drinking heavily, smoking, eating takeaways and junk food almost exclusively. What with working at McDonald's, I later moved into um subway so wasn't much better probably a little bit better due to it not being burgers and that but probably not that much better i hadn't um really seen myself in a mirror for so long um i guess because i was married and i didn't really need to check myself out or or make myself look good anymore um and i just didn't look in the mirror very often so i i i, I took myself off and i looked in the mirror and I'd realised at that point that the picture I'd seen that I was so devastated with that really, really made me realise I'd let myself go wasn't even as bad as how I'd got. Because this is, I'm talking like 2018 now, um, and the honeymoon was in 2012. So I'd carried it on. I hadn't realised, I thought I was in fairly good shape on my honeymoon. Um, I know I drunk a little bit too much and I, you know I, I had a lot of bad habits like smoking and stuff but I uh yeah I just never changed that that uh lifestyle and I just carried it on um and I and I just I was I was at my biggest now at 2018 I was at my biggest and I was more unfit than I'd ever been I'm only 5'10 um and with me always being pretty healthy and fit when I was younger I was never well, as far as I can remember, I was never really over 10 stone. I know, I know that because I remember that being the weight that I always said, you know, when, you know, when someone says, how much do you weigh? Always 10 stone. <laughs> and it wasn't a lie, but it wasn't, it wasn't a lie. And 
yeah, that's what I used to tell people because that's what I was there or thereabouts. So I went in the bathroom and I stepped on the scales and uh, I thought, you know, I probably probably put on a couple of extra stones. So I'm, I'm sort of thinking maybe 12 stone, you know, something like that. Um, I, bearing in mind, I didn't really know anything about um, fitness and nutrition at this time, like in-depth fitness and nutrition. I knew how to be healthy and stuff. I just didn't know you know, how much weight, you know, I wasn't very good at all that sort of stuff. So no idea how much I was supposed to weigh and all that. So I, I sort of figured, you know, maybe two stone, um, taking me to around 12, 12 and a half stone, I would have thought. But the scales went past 14, only just, only just past 14. But it was enough to make me realise that I need, I needed to change. I needed something different. I needed to get my life back on track and be healthier. You know, I'm, I'm 36 now and at the time I was 34 so you know you're going into like if you're lucky you know the third quarter of your life uh, the, the second quarter of your life um so I didn't want to be this because I'm not very tall I didn't want to be and I'm not, I know I'm not balding or anything but I didn't want to be that short fat guy you know the big rounded guy I didn't want to be that. And uh, that's always been a fear of mine. So I didn't want that to happen. So I, I, I just thought, right, I've got to change. So I started going on short sporadic runs. And I remember they, they were they were like, I was trying to do a mile. I'd got, I'd just bought a Fitbit. So I meant business. <laughs> uh, and I was trying to do a mile every day. Um, and that mile potentially was supposed to get shorter. Like I was meant to get quicker and quicker and quicker at doing it until I'd built up enough to maybe go two miles and so on and so forth. I was still smoking and drinking um, at this point, albeit a bit less than I was when I was at uni. I felt like I'd lost the ability to run. So from a, a pacey lad that used to run up and down, you know, the w wing on a Saturday and a Sunday, um, I reckon at this point I would have struggled to do, you know, run up and down or just up actually, just one length of a football pitch, you know, at all in the state I was in. Um, so yeah, I tried, I started doing the mile a day and improved my time. I, I was thinking about joining the gym, but I, I'd never really been to a gym. I never really needed to go to a gym because I was so, obviously it, between this period I wasn't, but growing up I was always just so exercise. I was exercising all the time. I was full of, f for always sports, always and gyms kind of scared me a little bit. I, I, they're, they're very intimidating when you don't know what to expect. You just, you just think, oh, I'm really skinny. You know, all right, I've got a belly, but I'm really skinny. You know, all these guys like big buff guys. Not just that, but I just didn't know what to do um, in a gym. You know, I knew how to lift weights and stuff like that, but techniques and stuff like that. So that was that was quite a big fear. Um, and that that was that's how I thought back then. But I did I did in the end I I I thought I thought you know I've got to do something and, and I joined the closest budget gym to me. And to be fair, I enjoyed it. Like I had no idea what I was doing, but it was kind of fun. I watched others um, doing their lifts and stuff like that to try and help me with my techniques. I couldn't afford a personal trainer. I still can't can't afford a personal trainer now. Um, but I picked up a few ideas. And then I think I was probably going to the gym maybe twice twice a week or something like that um, with no real intent or plan and what I was doing. So that and the short runs went on for about a year on and off. It wasn't I wasn't like constant, you know, I say two times a week, but I wouldn't go every week. And sometimes I'd go once a week and things like that. So that was the um, that's where I was then by January 2019. I'd lost about a stone and got down to about 13 stone. I was heading in the right direction, but in my opinion, it wasn't quick enough. Um, I remember on my brother's birthday, it was my, it was my brother's 30th birthday um, on the 25th of February last year. And um, we was in, we was in like a, a working man's club in it down, down where I'm from originally um, in Kent. And uh, I'd, 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 all I'd add is one pint, and one Jack Daniels and Coke. And um, I remember sitting there thinking, I wonder how, how bad this is for, for my weight loss. I wonder, you know, because I was in the zone. I, I was pushing to lose weight. So I knew 
I knew that I was trying to do all the right things, but I, you know, and at, at my brother's 30th, I ended up having just two drinks, them two drinks, because after I'd had them, I just, I just, I was thinking about it and I just thought, do you know what? I don't need to drink. I don't need, I don't need alcohol. Um, and I'd, uh, I'd been drinking alcohol since, well, since I was legal, um, playing football, pub football and all that. Every weekend I was drinking, um, at, at uni, I was drinking a hell of a lot more. Um, and I just didn't need it. And I, and I realized I didn't need it there and then. So I just stopped. Um, I stopped, I decided there and then I'm going to stop drinking. Uh, I'm going to stop uh smoking um and yeah uh the next step uh was obviously my diet uh now i didn't have a bad diet i didn't eat as much fruit and veg as i should um i probably ate a little bit too much um fatty foods but i wasn't in the same realm as i was when i was at uni where it was eating takeaway and all that because I, I was working in a school now I wasn't in a fast food place so my diet had got a bit better um but yeah that that's where I was um with that because so I needed to I needed to sort my diet out basically um and the, the phrase you can't out train a bad diet kept coming up um so yeah I stopped uh all deep fried foods so and anything i'd have deep fried um so such as like chips and sausages and all that all went in the oven instead um even though that's not a massive change you know you're still eating un unhealthier foods but they're not as unhealthy so it is a ma it is a change it's not it might not be cutting them out but it is a massive change so anyone else trying who's watching this who, who might be trying to lose weight just little changes like that make a little bit of difference yeah don't let anyone tell you that it's not a step because it is definitely a step um i started eating more veg um and to be fair until this point i didn't really like that many veg peas and carrots were pretty much it um i started eating things like broccoli and cauliflower more um you know and things like things things that i should I, I should have been trying you know eating a long time ago but i just never did so yeah now, although although these things that I've said so far, so obviously running, going to the gym, uh, stopping smoking, stopping drinking, eating better, um, not frying your foods, um, these these things will definitely definitely work for anyone trying to lose weight. A hundred percent, they will definitely work. Um, but I I gave up a lot of stuff um, at once, and I I wouldn't necessarily recommend that for everyone because it is so hard um literally within within i don't know i'd say a month i i'd stop smoking i'd stop drinking alcohol um i w i had started eating more veg i'd stop deep frying stuff stop takeaways um and and to be fair like i i did okay i did okay um but i think you know if if you can't do that just do it one at a time you know, just, just say give, give, give. Uh, just start with the the cooking in the oven instead of the deep fat fryer, or um, an extra portion of veg or something like. That. Just slowly, and and each month do something a bit different um, and add to it until you're at the stage where you can do it. I I surprised myself. Um, my willpower like really surprised me because um, I I I couldn't get up smoking for a long time. Um, and alcohol never crossed my mind. I was never ever gonna be not drinking alcohol because that's what I'd always always done. Now I wasn't an alcoholic. I did like a drink. I liked the social aspect of drinking. I liked being out with mates. Um, but yeah, I didn't. I didn't. Um, I didn't need it. And I realised I had that realisation at my brother's party. I didn't need to drink. Um, so the only. <laughs> So yeah, I I think it it made it easier my willpower um it, it took for my willpower um because I was that devastated at how I saw myself I didn't think I'd let myself go that so badly um and currently as of now I'm not eating chocolate I haven't eaten chocolate since since Lent now I'm not a hundred percent holy I'm not you know I'm, I'm not uh, religious in in many many senses I, I don't go to church and stuff like that but. Um, I thought, let's see if I can give up chocolate because that was one of my big vices. Um, 
and I'd say probably my last vice, um, really. The only thing I've got is 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 chocolate, and I and I thought I'd give that up um, for Lent and see if I can do it. And that has been hands down the hardest thing. I've still I've still managed to do it. I've still got about two weeks left, um, and it is really 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 hard. Um, but I'm going to try and do it just to prove to myself I can. Um, so it's more of a challenge to myself. And with that being, I mean, bar sex, obviously that's a that's a vice. But you know, my wife rations that anyway, so don't worry about that. Um, but chocolate is the one last thing that um, I feel, you know, is probably a bad thing for me that I have too much of. So doing this, you know, has really, really proved to me that I can. And it is really hard. And we've got loads of chocolate. My wife loves chocolate. She's got, I've got two kids who love chocolate, got a cupboard full of it. And I keep going in there and I'm like, should I, should I, should I, should I? And, um, I haven't yet, and and I, I keep saying to myself, no, no, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. So, yeah, um, your willpower might surprise you. It's it it's it's mind over matter. I feel, and if you want something bad enough, you can give anything up. Um, if you don't want to give stuff up, then you won't. It's that it's that simple. So I've been going to the gym, um, maybe three to three to four times a week now. Um, more recently, I've been doing uh push pull leg split. Um, and for the first few months, I was just sort of trying to find a split that worked for me. Um, I'm, I still do the occasional jog thrown in or have been doing the occasional jog thrown in just for cardio. Um, but obviously thanks to the lockdown, I can't go to the gym anymore. So, um, I go for longer runs. So I try and go out and get my 10,000 steps in a day, which is obviously the, uh, recommendation from the British Heart Foundation um daily uh, 10,000 steps uh, which works at around 5 miles. I've got some um pretty light vinyl weights uh, at home and a bench. Um the weights aren't really ideal but I guess they're better than nothing. Um I just have to do higher reps and lower weight uh, for the foreseeable future. Um maybe I'll buy some some better weights cuz obviously you don't take into account this sort of, these sort of things are going to going to happen. So um yeah, I kind of been caught unstuck. Um, so I currently weigh eleven stone three uh, and eighteen point three uh, percent body fat. Um, I, I'm struggling. I'm really struggling to get below eighteen percent body fat. Um, I'm cutting down how much I'm eating and stuff like that. Um, but my aim is to get down to around ten ten stone six. Sorry, ten stone six and below fifteen percent body fat. I want to ideally get. I want to get to like twelve to fifteen percent. Um, at least no not at least i'd say 12 percent is probably my 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 main target but 15 percent is my at least um so now we're all caught up with why i started my journey um uh, and i'm by no means an expert in any way um i'm still learning every day uh but i am happy to share some of the things that i have learned um with anyone who needs it so you know feel free to ask me any questions and if i can answer them i will um I did start a personal training course a couple of years ago with the uh, b budget gym that uh, I started in um, 2018, but um, I didn't finish it. And that was um, due to factors that I couldn't help. Uh, they couldn't be helped. Um, it is something I want to go back and, and do um, when I get the chance. But the story about that is is for another episode. Um, I will I will touch on that. Um, it was just um, really, really poor timing. Uh, not necessarily for me. Um, like it, it was, it was, it was, it was sort of like a series of unfortunate events that unfolded that sort of put an end to me being able to do that. So, if you want to know, write down in the comments, and I'll and I'll I'll do another video and tell you about that. It won't be a very long one, but yeah, it's it's it's. Um, it's something I do want to do, and I did want to do, but it didn't uh, pay off um, it, this time around. Um, so that's with that being said, thanks for listening to my story so far. I will be uploading more things as soon as I have things to report. Um, I just I don't want to say it's going to be a daily or a weekly because I don't know when I'm going to upload. It's just I, w I was thinking about this, and I thought it'd be quite good to document it. Um, so I thought I've got a YouTube channel. I'll put it on there. And um, 
maybe I can help other people out. Maybe people can help me out. Um, like I said, I'm no expert, but I am trying. Um, so if you found this video inspiring or helpful, please consider hitting that like button, guys. Subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads. If you have any message, any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments. Um, I will do my best. Like I said, I'm not, I'm not the best. Um, but if if you've got anything you want to know, and I have a little bit of information on it, you know, maybe I can help. Like I said, I've I've I've, I've done some personal training uh, from the course that I didn't pass yet. Um, I didn't finish it. I didn't not pass it. I didn't I, I didn't carry it on. Um, I also I am a a, a a uh my degree is in coaching and, and physical education um so th there is a little bit i know um and I, I can always look look things up as well if someone wants to know something just feel free and i'll to ask and i'll you know i might be able to look it up and learn about it myself so um yeah any questions uh put them down in the comment section and i'll try and answer them in the next video thanks for watching again guys peace out